What's up guys, it's Alex here, your friendly reef dog. Now last week I ran through the eight corals I've got in my tank that I love the most and the one that I hate the most. And today I'm going to do the same with fish and I'm going to run you through the seven fish I love and the one that I hate. Now if it's your first time here at the channel and you want weekly reefing goodness, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Right, let's get stuck in. First up then is my purple tang, and this might be one of the most beautiful fish in my tank purely in terms of colouring. He has a deep purple body with lines of black dots down his sides, leading to a bright yellow tail fin. And it's those colourings that make the purple tang the most beautiful of all tangs in my opinion. I got mine a year ago, and since then he has spent every second of every day cleaning algae off my rock work. I supplement his diet with either seaweed noe strips or algae pellets, and he's roughly doubled in size in the time I've had him. He's the boss of my tank and he has been known to give new arrivals a bit of a hard time, especially with my copper banded butterfly. But he's more vain than he is tough, so all I've needed to do is put a mirror up and he goes off to brush his hair. He's absolutely fine in my 4 foot by 2 foot tank, although he will probably outgrow it eventually, so keep that in mind if you want one. Up next is my geometric pygmy perchlet, and this is a massively underrated fish in my opinion. They have a reputation for being fairly secretive, but I see mine all the time. He spends his day darting between caves and rocks, looking for shelter, and of course food. And this is about as big as he'll get, so he's a great bet for smaller tanks. And I've had no trouble with him eating anything he shouldn't. For me, one of the joys of this hobby is the variety of behaviour fish exhibit. You can stare at my tank for 10 minutes and only see half of what's in there. Then suddenly a guy like this will poke his head out and say hello. Easy to keep, characterful, suitable for small tanks and cool markings. What more could you want? Number 5 on my favourite fish list is my Da Vinci Clownfish. Now clowns are what get 90% of us into the hobby in the first place and I find them just as awesome now as I did when I first saw them. The normal Nemo type peculiar clowns are the classic clownfish and some people scoff at designer clowns like these, saying they're not as beautiful as nature's own creations. But to my eye, these guys have all the attraction of peculiar clowns with the added bonus of some pretty cool and unique markings. And they're also great characters, they get grumpy with my algae magnet when I scrape the glass too close to their home and chase it all along the tank until they manage to scare it off. They do this every time and I find it hilarious and they spend their day swimming in amongst my colony of arc woodstock rainbow zoas. While I'd love an anemone for them, anemones grow and spread too much for my liking, and my clowns are more than happy to set up camp in the zoas anyway. The male even nibbles the polyps sometimes for reasons I don't quite understand. Maybe he's trying to get high off the palytoxins. Next up is my royal grammar. Now on the face of it, this guy is nothing special. He's not rare or expensive, and he doesn't present a challenge to keep healthy. But it's just a brilliant little fish. Bright colours with an interesting pixelated merge from purple to yellow. He's peaceful, and he doesn't eat my corals or my cleanup crew. He's also got a bit of character about him, as he swims in and out of caves all day long. If every fish in the hobby had all of those characteristics, it would be a much simpler place indeed. The bronze medalist on my list of favourite fish is my Scarlet Hawkfish. I just love Hawkfish, as you can see by the fact that I have three in my tank, including a Falco and a Long Nose. They're all awesome characters, but each have very different personalities. And my Scarlet Hawk always looks shifty. He's constantly on the move, and his eyes are always shooting around the tank, presumably looking for something to eat, or something that might eat him. He swims from rock to coral all day long, and perching on lookout points seems to suit him. Swimming out in the open though really doesn't. He makes it look like a massive effort, like when you first go swimming in the ocean, arms and legs flying everywhere. On top of a funny persona, the Scarlet Hawk also has striking red colours and a bandit-like eye mask. He gets on well with my other hawkfish, and he's lived happily with a cleaner shrimp for about two years. Good lad. And the runner-up is my Midas Blenny Chepe. Blennies are a brilliant example of the characters you get in the saltwater hobby, and the Midas Blenny adds an unusual and bright colour to the personality. He's another cave dweller, only he likes to squeeze himself into the tightest space possible. Now, like the rest of us, he's put on a few pounds since lockdown, so he finds it harder and harder to slot into his favourite spot. Although he's still just about fit, so maybe I'm being too harsh. But Midas Blennies are probably the most sociable of the Blennies, and Chepe spends a good portion of his day swimming out in the open. In fact, it took me two hours to get that last shot of him going into his favourite cave, because he was too busy out swimming with his mates. He's also got glowing blue eyes that stand out against his bright golden body, and a smiley face that makes me want to take him out and rub his little belly. 
Before I get to number one and the other fish I hate, I want to shout out a few honourable mentions who just missed out of this list. My fox fate is bright, peaceful and eats more vegetation than a family of vegans, and my Naoko Ras dive bombing other fish gets the most comments from you guys when I do my tank updates. I also have two fish that would be top of the list if it weren't for the fact that I never see them. My Randall's Gobi has created a cave with a pistol shrimp right at the back of the tank and this is the only footage I've managed to get of him in over two years. And my yellow headed jawfish is even more reclusive and has his base at the far rear corner of my tank where I've never been able to video. So you'll have to make do with library footage taken from my local fish up Reef Keeper Windsor. But my absolute favourite fish in my Red Sea Reefer Peninsula 500 is my Scarlet Dragonet. Now I've tried and failed with mandarins and other dragonets before, which is no surprise because they're very difficult to keep, and that makes this guy all the more satisfying. For me the Scarlet is the king of the dragonets and he has absolutely beautiful colourings. I love the way he scoots around the tank, stopping only to shoot out his mouth and catch prey. His swimming style is totally unique and he can hover perfectly still in mid-water like a hummingbird. He's also either completely fearless or a bit of a simpleton. He swims right through the zoo as my clowns live in. If any other fish does that, they get a serious licking from my clowns, but not this guy. And he swims right over my rock flower anemones, which I know from touching them with my hands have a strong enough grip to catch a fish. He does sometimes eat frozen food, but he's just so slow and fussy that he almost always loses out to others. But my tank is over two years old and has a busy refugium that keeps him in copepods, so my advice with this guy would be don't even think of getting one unless you have a similar setup. And finally to the fish I hate in my tank, my shoal of longfin anthias. When I bought these they were a bright pink colour but two years on and they've lost their sparkle and you can hardly see the pink at all now. They also bicker from time to time, they don't properly shoal and I only have three left of the nine I bought two years ago so they achieve none of the goals I was hoping they would. That's a fairly typical story with anthias and other shoaling fish like Chromis and while these are supposedly some of the better anthias to keep I've learnt my lesson with these guys and I won't be repeating the same mistake again. So those are my favourite fish in my tank, but I'd love to know what your guys' favourite fish are, so let me know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next week. And until next time, happy reefing.